I've already started R here in this window. We're going to take a minute and look at some of the things that R can do. These are, are structures that you will use very, very often. We've already looked at how R is kind of a little calculator in a way. But R has some special features that makes it especially work well with, uh, with statistics. In statistics, we're often interested in a list of, of uh, numbers. Um, R can, can handle these lists very, very well. You build a list by a command called C, concatenate. You can concatenate a number of, of values together. Let's just try some here. Maybe a 1 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a few more 3s and maybe a few 5s and a 6 and a 9, a 10. Maybe there's a 12 in here, a, 50, a 25 and a 25 and a uh, 27. Let's say that it's all of those. Okay, what R did there was kind of was just to put all of those things in a list, sometimes called a vector. So this vector contains those numbers and they're in order. Uh, a vector is not just a set, but it's an ordered set. We can create some things called objects. We can just say that x, is, well, let me do this. I'm using an up arrow key. That's a really nice feature because it can pull up that last command that I made. I was concatenating those numbers. I'm going to insert x is equal to there. And now notice that it didn't give an output this time because what it did was take that concatenated string and put it into x. Now any time that I ask R to tell me what x is, it will give me that list of numbers that we had before. Here's a great command. So so far, you've learned one important function in R. It's called concatenate. So you see with parentheses and put uh, a bunch of numbers together that you want to have in one of these lists. You also saw how to create an object. You just say the name of the object is equal to, and there you go. Now, any time that we call x, we've got that uh, collection of vectors. Now here's another great, great function. It's called summary. We can do a summary of x. What that does, it looks at the list that we have there, tells us what the minimum value is, what the maximum value is. It tells us something called the first quartile. The first quartile is the number so that 25% of the of all this data set is below that number and 75% is above. The median, or sometimes called the second uh, quartile, 50% below, 50% above. Five is where the, uh, half of them are below and half of them are above. Uh, the mean is what we usually call the average. We just add up all those numbers and divide by however many numbers there are. And then the third quartile, 75% below, 25% above, and the maximum value. These numbers, the minimum, the first quartile, the median, or the second quartile, the third quartile, and the maximum are called the five number summary of a data set. Now, let's look at a couple other things just real quickly. There's a nice command called sum we can add up all the numbers in that list. Go ahead and you can verify that when you add up the numbers in that list, it adds up to 128. Here's another great one. The length of, of that vector is 15. Count them. There's 15 items. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, great. Now we know how to find the average or the mean. That's just a matter of adding up all of the x's and dividing by however many there are. Now summary already did that for us. I'm just verifying for you that sure enough the average is the mean. Add up all the numbers and divide by how many there are. Um, 
another really nice function to look at is something called the quantile. The quantile takes an object and then you can ask the 25th quantile. That means you're looking for the number so that 25% is below that number and 75% is above that number. And notice that that gives us the, the first quartile, the same thing that we got up here in the summary. Quantile could look for other things besides the 25%, 50%, and 75%. You could put any percentage there that, that, uh, that you were interested in. We could have done this. We could look at the quantile. Let's put a, a couple things together here. This is kind of wild. The quantile of, and now I'm going to put a concatenated list here. And in this list, I'd like to know the 25th, the 50th, and the 75th quantile. Uh, there they are. The 3, the 5, and the 11. That was the first quartile, the 25th quantile. The uh, median, or the second quantile. And finally, the third quantile, or the 75th. Uh, the, th the third quartile or the 75th quantile, 75th percent quantile. Okay, some powerful stuff. Write down those commands. They're really important. We'll use them often. The concatenate command, the summary command for a vector, the sum of a vector, the length of a vector, and the quantile of a vector.